This is Coogan Cassius for I from London. We're at Green Park here, somewhere in the middle of London. With me, I have got David Proud. Say hello, David, to hello, I from London. Right. To I from London. Oh, hi, hi, I from London. That's better. <laughs> Devin Anderson. You're right, how you doing? Do so I have to say, yeah, hi, no. I film London. That's better. It's pushy, isn't it? It's pushy. <laughs> Melissa Suffield. Hello, I film London. And that Belinda Awusu. Winking. <laughs> David winks, he thinks it makes the panties drop. It don't. <laughs> Well, I, like I've just, I was walking along here and these guys were having a picnic, uh, there's no picnic now, but they no. were having a picnic and uh, they invited me over, but we've got no food and got no drink. David, why is this? Um, well, we've had it all. Yeah, we've okay, had, a, that's, had a good day, but um, no, we just all felt like a bit of a meet-up, so... Mm. Is, this, is this weird, the four of you being together, or do you usually spend a lot of time together? We Individually. Live, we, we try and stay together, basically anyone who leaves EastEnders moves into a house <laughs> and you live awkward, together there's, really. there's like me there's um russ kemp he, he cooks a lot it's otherwise known as a big brother house <laughs> yeah it's generally Wellard. where we all go in the end isn't it <laughs> well did well i die i don't want to talk about it okay <laughs> right listen subject. listen <laughs> east Enders was a part of your life you just moved on and doing your own things now which is great um david we know a lot about devon we know some about but you two girls, I'm going to start with you because I've not met you before. And I want you to tell me about what you've been up to since you've left, left the show. Start with Melissa. Okay. I only need about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, I think I'll be less than that. Um, it's some pantos, um, which were great fun. Always a good way to start. It is a good way to start. <laughs> Do you know what? It can be quite hard to get a good panto. Some people get rubbishy ones. But, but who you know, were you, get, you in Panto? Who I was I? Get an invite. Oh, I'm sorry. It yeah. was pretty embarrassing on my part. It was, it was not my greatest work, so not many people got invited to that one. <laughs> um, I just did three episodes of Casualty as well, which is kind of going on at the moment. One in a couple of weeks, and then one a month after that. And then um, I've got some stuff coming up in the summer as well. It's two feature films and a, another documentary, because oh. I like doing them. Pulls out the feature films. Yeah, put them out early. That's it. Yeah. Um, Belinda? I'm sure Hi. You've got yeah. Three minutes on I'm sure. Um, if I talk slowly, I do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <we're soon. laughs> well, I've actually um, been doing a bit of Shakespeare. Ooh. Ooh. I paused especially for that, so thank you. Yeah, um, yeah I did a fellow last year. We toured around um, England, the country that we're in, in case you didn't know. Um, and then we took that to the Bahamas last month. So I was there for a couple of weeks doing it on the beach, I mean in the theatre, <laughs> and um, yeah, and I have a musical coming up in the summer, we start rehearsals in May, it's called WAG, the musical, I don't think the hands actually work, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called WAG the musical, and um, yeah, it's going to be brilliant, I sing, which is why it's a musical. Is it, has it got anything to do with wives and girlfriends? Yes, that's, yeah, right. in case, yeah, wives and girlfriends, and it has some WAGs in it, um, and if you go to the website, you can, we can learn who they are. Find out who. Or not. Or follow me on Twitter at the Real You can plug yourself later. So there's a slot for that. Yeah, I know. But if I do it now and then again later, it's more likely. Twice. Yeah, subliminal messaging, isn't it? <laughs> at the Real for, for non EastEnders fans, I'm just going to point out who these people actually are. David played evil bastard Adam. Yeah, completely. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Devon played evil bastard Billy. <laughs> <laughs> who was just found dead one day randomly. Yep. yep. Face down into a sofa. Yep. A little sock hanging off there, wasn't it? You, <laughs> you, you genuinely did play evil bitch Lucy. A true you? evil bitch, a yeah. Real proper. The These guys were just pretenders. <laughs> and you, just, hey. you played lovely Squiggle. Um, Libby Fox, but <laughs> um, yeah, no, I was incredibly nice. I, th I don't think I did one bad well, you're thing. You a bit too nice. I don't know. Didn't you well, try? I don't know. My wheelchair at one point. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't was really for nice film, that... Yeah, she was always really kind of nice. That was because you didn't bring me my tea. <laughs> she, only, she only got, like, nasty when I tried to sleep with you, to be fair, so... What? Most people what? do. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's my mother. <laughs> Whatever happens, obviously, you can't be brought back. And you're unlikely to be brought back because they've got a new one. Highly unlikely, yeah. I reckon she's going back. She didn't die, I don't think, but that can change, you know, by the next episode. Yeah. I could have got hit by a tram or I think after frisbee. This, she probably might. <laughs> 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 it can go either way. Right, listen, in one sentence, just describe East Slimness to me from your point of view. One sentence that gives it. Um, David. 
really intense, but an amazing experience. Devon. Soap. <laughs> What, as in cleanliness or? You said you said one word. Didn't no, I, I said they, one they started doing sentences. sentences. One sentence, come on, string it out. Oh, it's a London based TV show, uh, a soap, that tells stories. Some heartfelt of, words there, Devon. Of traditional East End life. <laughs> traditional East End life. I think that's a perfect way to sum up these things. Alright. Don't you think? Brilliant. No, it's just very It's lovely. quite hard yeah. in like the it's very lovely. Personally to you, what was it to you? Oh, personally to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah personally yeah. to you. Oh, it was Happy great. Man. It was, it was like, like Devon's listening. It's not it was like my, <laughs> it was like my first job when I was younger. I, like, I started it when I was six, and then um, I was in it for four years, and then came back. Yeah, it's good. That's not Mel. Um, best possible start I could have ever had to my career, um, and a really good kind of jumping board onto other things, which it's proven to be, so I'm grateful that I had it, yeah. That was seven sentences. Thank you, Mel. That's, That's all right. Good. I like to string it out into paragraphs. Come on now. No, no. One, more <laughs> sentences are better. Belinda? Yeah, my first job as well. Brilliant job. Um, you lost them then. Um, yeah, an amazing, amazing experience. Very, like David said, very intense. And um, yeah, what else was there? Yeah, it was my first job and I had a lot of fun and I met a lot of great people when except for David. <laughs> um, and yeah, a really, a really big unforgettable time of my life. Cause I that's a sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Except no. Come with David proud. Proud David as he's on Twitter. Not so proud. David. Was David proud taken? Yeah it was, by somebody, what? right, who literally tweeted once and said, I'm cleaning my ring. Back in like two years ago, I'm like. I bet he was. I'm, yeah. I bet he was. Well, like, thanks, mate. You've just took me, took my name to like tweet once about your ring. <laughs> like, it ain't great. Do you know what? When I saw, when I used to watch you on EastEnders, I used to think, God, I feel sorry for David Pratt. They're making him have this haircut. Why? <laughs> I've realised obviously he's actually your haircut, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit shorter now. It's a bit shorter. I'm sorry. I thought they made him have like a basin like, but not really a basin. It's like oh, uneven. Really right. And I thought I've they'd make a, him do it, but they I've haven't. I've been a fan of the Beatles for years. But I love so it. I look like a Beatle. No, but I'm being honest, so. Yeah. I did, I did. I've had it a little bit short because I start a new drama on Monday. Yeah. So um, I've had it like a little bit shorter. All right. Yeah. It's good for clarifying that. Can you tell. <laughs> So I film London, goes out worldwide, goes out to Sri Lanka. Of all right, places. Sri Lanka? Yeah, wow. that's where I'm from. Um, can you tell the viewers what you've been doing um, post EastEnders? Well, I think the last time we had a chat, I was uh, um, doing like uh, a feature film, and then on the back of that, I uh, started to develop a little play called Friendzone, <laughs> which Belinda very, oh, very kindly came and uh, helped me develop that, and like, played one of the like, characters like trying to helped me develop it and stuff and, and I've yes. also produced a music video with Mel for Mel's husband's band Dead Wax which was super cool it turned out like a lot like better than we kind of we hoped it would look cool but it really you know um, the DOP it, it on it like yeah he did just an amazing number and and this dude I just have Nando's with like and he abuses me you do that good I'm gonna do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't put it David that's all right I'll take it from you <laughs> You should see this way, right? The way he eats chicken, I'm just going to reveal this, what? right? Yeah. Dev will actually get a chicken in Nando's, scrape all the chicken off the bone to one side on a separate plate, and then eat the chicken. He won't eat it off the bone. Yes. Like, I, saying that's I think smart. this is weird. Oh, there's oh, no dignified nah. way to eat chicken straight there off the bone. You no will always look chicken. like you haven't eaten for four months. But that's always. the whole no good way point. To do it. No. You've got to get your hands, you've got to want it. You know, like, you've got to be able to smell that grease on your yeah. hands a couple of days later. Unlike you guys, I don't like bones, alright? Oh. Oh. oh! Hello! It's not oh. my style. I don't like bones, strip the chicken, Ding nice dong. bit of breast, <laughs> boom. That's, what, that's how I feel about the subject. Fair enough. Devon. All breast, no bone. All like breast, that. no bone. Devon. Yes. You see, uh, you've been on iPhone London before twice. I have, One I with have. your lovely girlfriend. Yeah, she's alright. <laughs> and once when we caught you coming into where, where was it? Snaky Man's launch video launch, for yeah. making moves, yeah. Which I'd met you then in was a quick passing one, but you still did it, so yeah, it was yeah. I didn't hate you after that. So. <laughs> but um, what, what, what you been up to, Devon? What's, what's been I've going descended on? Descended into drink and um, alcoholism. It's been pretty rough for me. I've been living on the streets for the past three years now. And, uh, no. I'm joking. Right. Um, we have an arm on him. I, uh, I, don't like I don't like touching him either. 
<laughs> Sli it's sleeping like on the sheets. I considered it, but I thought better of that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm in good health at the moment, <laughs> so I don't want to ruin it. Sorry, I'm speaking about my career now, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was okay. either. Oh! Hey! Oh! oh. Um, uh, I well, can't even no, finish. Come on, let, let them come. Uh, what have I done? Uh, I just finished uh, Sky One's new drama, Sinbad. They're remaking Sinbad, if you're a big, like, Doctor Who kind of fan and an adventure and violent. Malarkey. I like Aladdin. You like Aladdin? Is it's that... just like Aladdin. It's pretty much like Aladdin, but with more swords. Do they have the waistcoats? Because that was my favourite part. The little waistcoats, no, but I wear like a little a little poncho thing, which is quite nice. Oh, uh, yeah, nice I don't think poncho. I'm going to like that. So, yeah, no, they I put loads of money into that. And then um, I'm doing a play at the minute at the Riverside Studio. We've got a preview for three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If he gets this out in time, go buy some tickets. And if not, come in October. We're then in October as well, after. Just going back on your point, this is out tonight, that's how we roll. It's out tonight, it's how you roll. So yeah, go, oh, right. go. Buy tickets, come see me. The road. Where is it? Uh, Riverside Studio in Hammersmith. Oh yeah, you said. Pretty okay, cool. cool. Pretty cool. What, um, what, what's your plan for the rest of the day for? Are you just going to walk around? David's going to feed me. Yeah, yeah David's going to feed me as well. because yeah. That's a bit of an exclusive. We, when we met up. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, should I have not disclosed? Feed me. Dave's gonna feed them. Are you gonna film it, Dave? <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah, sex tape of the Ma week. That Mel, can I ask you an honest question? <laughs> yeah? What, what do you make of the new Lucy Bill? What is your to honest be honest, I genuinely, and I say this like with honesty completely, EastEnders has just never actually been something that popped up on my radar at all. I didn't watch it before I was in it. Yeah. When I was in it, I very rarely watched it. I haven't watched it since. Um, so I actually don't know if she's any good or not, because oh, I actually amazing. haven't seen it. Oh, that's good then. No, she is. She is. I, I thought, when she came, I was like, do you know what? This girl is so much better than the last one they had. <laughs> I was like, You're so delightful. <laughs> You're such a sweetie pie, isn't he? He's he brings such... rainbows and hugs. <laughs> he really with him. does. I He's such fart a lovely rainbows. bloke. <laughs> <laughs> you do <laughs> fart rainbows. Seriously, They're terrifying. Though, you know, your, your uncle Derek Branning, that'd be a, a quite a good thing, wouldn't it? Bit of a gangster, wouldn't he? Old Derek Branning. I like Mel. I'm, I, don't, <laughs> I don't watch a lot of soaps. So, like, if I'm not in it, I don't really watch it. Like, I've not seen, like, Hollyoaks or anything for a long time. I don't really have time for, for TV. I'm more into music. He takes his mm, time getting chicken off a bone yeah. in Nando's. And That's I love where that. all That's his like time goes. Yeah, yeah. South, yeah, I don't really get time, but no, I, I know the history of Uncle Derek. He's supposed to be really racist. So I'm looking forward to that if that comes out. Oh. Uncle Derek's a racist, but everyone's forgot that. So I think he, we'll wait and see if it comes out. Yeah, I hope it comes back because that would be quite good. For Is them. it like any race in particular or just anybody not? Um, I think it was the, the dark variety back <laughs> in the day, but he might move on. I mean, we've right. got we've got a multiracial... Uh, I want to see Russians in uh, EastEnders. I was thinking about it. They don't have any yeah, Russian families. Or like Chinese a families. Polish, a Polish or Chinese family in EastEnders mm. would be brilliant. Are there any Jewish people in EastEnders? No, there's not no. Jewish people. And also, I want a spin-off. I want a, a prison spin-off, so is there not everyone already a spin -off? There is E E twenty. No, but I want a villain spin-off. Oh, that's so good. Like, I like when that. When the crazy Where doctor the gets arrested, go, yeah. they go to prison and they're all together. There's like, <laughs> that'll be good. That's a good idea. That's really good. <laughs> like that Don't use it idea. because I'll sue you. <laughs> I'll see you. If there's an EastEnders prison spin-off, uh, I'm going to do a Brian Bello yeah. and sue <laughs> get you. you. He's going to I'm going to get you. Four million off the air. He was telling me about that when I was in Argentina yeah. with him doing Total Wipeout. He was oh, going on and on and on about it. So I'm glad he's oh kind of got God, it going. I didn't see you on To be it. fair though, you know if what, you did invent Taui, would you be public about it? Definitely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just Oi, saying. No one, no one says anything bad about Essex or Taui. I didn't say anything bad about you Essex. Gotta say, Essex though. is a lovely place. You've got to say. <laughs> but Taui. I love it. Geordie love it. Shore. Geordie Shore on the other Jordy hand. Geordie Shore When, when she story. said the girl was so uh, irritating, she was like, okay, well, Come back here. What did you just say? <laughs> you got to say. Love it or hate it, BAFTA award winning. That's what it is. Put some chickens in a coop with machine guns, I'm sure that'll be <laughs> BAFTA award well, winning as well. Is that how they get Nando's? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no autographs. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up now. I want... It's been rubbish, isn't it, really? Well, no, it hasn't. Not for, for our point of view. <laughs> Did you not say there was a bit about plugging? There is, this is it. Oh, this, this is, is the, this is the plugging right. segment. Well, listen, Jumping we're going to pan onto each one of you, and you, you have the right to say whatever you want about whoever you want. Ooh. <laughs> oh, right. Crack Ooh. on. We're going to start with Belinda. 
I'm going to talk about me. Um, my name is Belinda. I think you've gathered that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be. I mentioned the musical. If you want to come and see me, you can. There's um, information on the website and um, information on my Twitter and Facebook page. I also want to say a big thank you to um, Mel <laughs> for, for being so awesome. Oh, Best friend on set. That's when amazing. we were. Kiss when set. we were on set, yeah. <laughs> Oh no. No, 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 not today. <laughs> not today. And also thank you to you guys, you know. The, the, the I Film London people, loving it. Loving it. Twitter? Twitter? Oh, at the real Uwusu. That's O W U S U. That is O W U S U. <laughs> That's like a voicemail message. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa. Safield. Hola. Crack on. Yeah. Um, as we know, I'm Melissa. I hope you know anyway. Uh, I know why it's a curve by that. Yeah, no, it does. I think name. it needs clarifying, yeah. doesn't it? Um, yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter. It's at I am Mel Teaser. Like Maltese. Um, because every so variation of my actual name is gone because there's a lot of fakes. So Mel Suffield, Melissa Suffield, Mel <laughs> Suffs, they're all gone. Um, so yeah, at I am Mel Teaser. Um, you should also follow my husband at Jimmy underscore Trouser and his band, which is at Dead Wax Band because uh, they're pretty epic. Um, and yeah. Big thanks to iFilm London. See, I remember their name, Belinda. And um, I, I, when I said you guys, I meant you two. Oh, right. <laughs> and then I meant the general. Thank you. You pulled that back brilliantly. The umbrella Thank company. You. <laughs> obviously, Mel, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and obviously, big thanks to these guys. Not really sure why I'm thanking them, but it seems like it might be the done thing to do. Because yeah. I thank you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll thank Belinda and I'll thank Devon, but <laughs> maybe not David. Thank no, you. No, maybe not David. No, I thank David. He's lovely. Um, this should be interesting. <laughs> Devin Anderson. Uh, Here we go. Meh, I can plug. Don't really want to. Uh, Sinbad's out in July, but I'm going to plug Trevon Martin. If you get a chance, Google Trevon Martin and see what's going on in the States because um, that's more interesting than plug it. Justice for Trevon Martin. Well, actually, do you know what? I didn't actually plug anything of mine that's coming out recently. Casualty is coming up. There's two episodes of Casualty coming up. Um, I think one, not the 7th of April, that's what I think it is. So I think it's the week after that, and there's one on the 2nd of May. Um, so yeah, they're coming up soon, and then over the summer, keep a keep an ear out. Did you do your scenes with Danny Dyer? No, no. I joined, I kind of went there the week after he buggered off, which I was a bit gutted about. I was like, if there's anyone for me to meet and just go, all right, it's Danny Dyer. I would just like to pretty much say hi, and that would be that. Um, so I was a bit gutted that I missed him by a week. But never mind. Hey, he's already been on iFilm London. I'll just Has he? Is yeah, he? Is, yeah. <laughs> you are right, iFilm London. All right, it's Danny Dyer, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Um, have you finished your 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 final words? Not in life. Oh, but just um, in the camera. yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I've got a play at the Riverside <laughs> Studio. Um, Devin Anderson, eighty-seven on Twitter. Travon Martin, do your research. That's it. And proud David. Um, David proud. Well, I start a new drama on Monday, which for the BBC, which is cool, but um, hasn't been kind of announced yet, so can't really tell you more about that. Maybe next time. But um, yeah, just at proud David on uh, on Twitter and. Thanks to for you guys to be like really supportive, but mainly, guys, get following these three because they're they're amazing. No, he's got twenty odd thousand followers. He doesn't. He's, need doing, all right. he's doing all right. I've got like a hundred and like twelve. Yeah, sometimes I say stuff that's interesting, really? and I'll tweet pick things. Wow. Of David's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you, know, do you know when we started the interview, like I fucked it up a little bit, didn't I? Yeah. My language, sorry, man. Uh, messed it up a little bit, but I just want to say, like, we've all been on EastEnders, haven't we? You yeah, recognised me off yeah. EastEnders, didn't you? Devin, you did, didn't you? I, I, yeah. What was I? Do you remember? Uh, he was a doorman at the R&R, and, and he was a pimp, I think. Do you remember? Yeah, He's already told pimp you, pimp. so it's not hard. Yeah. And obviously you girls were there. Yeah, no. I, I think we I've even... I've seen with you I know. You. We talked. When, no, yeah, 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 we yeah, did. Yeah, I remember. I was so like, ha, ha, things, and you were like, yeah, it's all right. And then you just walked off as if I didn't mean anything to you. Oh, was that However, <laughs> I don't think I can go back to that moment. <laughs> I, I remember that, that day. Jack got shot. I kept crashing somebody's line because I was like, yeah, I had you my were, back. you were, you I had were, my yeah. back. You were a doorman when I Jack got shot. Yeah. That means you would have been there and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been watching that stuff because I'm making a show reel and you are there. Oh, there was a great bouncer there. The one with all the lines. He was good. <laughs> he was good. That guy was. Yeah, I don't. I don't get lines. <laughs> he was, I, just, <laughs> they put me, I was on it the other day. I chucked uh, Doc Con's sister out. Rose Cotton. I chucked her off the table. Yeah, the other day. They don't give me lines, but you know. Chucked Doc Cotton off the table. No, Doc Con's sister. <laughs> now there's a story. There's the story <laughs> we're all after. 
I don't know if that makes it better or... I don't think it does. It's <laughs> quite sad. Um, right. Thank you very much. Yeah! No, seriously, this is... You might think I'm just saying this because you're here. He's going to cry. No, listen, I'm a massive EastEnders fan. I am. It's the only thing on TV I watch, because of the truth. So this is really good for me. Personally, it's good for our I from London, but personally for me, sat here with you for is. It's brilliant. kind of like meeting a Premiership footballer's cousin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, support, I support Arsenal, and I just met Van Persie's son, so I'm kind of close no, to him. No, it ain't at yes. all. It ain't at all. EastEnders reject exclusive. Maybe you, but I think I'm going to make quite an impact. Yeah. You have. I mean, I left in a, ca a cab. A black cab. That is like legendary exits. Still an exit, obviously. Yeah, but. You've got, you've got the, you've got the fact remains. The sofa, sofa. I drove off and nearly ran over Rita Simmons. Like, I, I didn't reverse back yeah, far enough right. when I when I kind of I, I pulled and then yeah, and she had and to jump back. Well. And it was my own car. I just can't drive. I really need a wee. Right. So it's, uh... <laughs> right That's nice. Anyway. I was having a moment then. It was beautiful. No, okay. it was beautiful. Sorry. This is Coogan Cassius <laughs> again, quickly with David Proud, Devin Anderson, Melissa Suffolk, and Belinda Arusso. Cheerio. For Right Film London. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching EastEnders on four nights a week, <laughs> eight o'clock on a Monday, We're seven not thirty well, on a Tuesday. You can see all of us. No way. Well, you way. can't see any of these, but if you rewind the, uh, the YouTube video, you'll see what they're actually doing now. Thank you very much.